Hi, Tracy Lewis here. I am now walking through the second Christmas album that I made. It's a winter album for my sister-in-law. Again, I used uh, a Thursday tutorial from Ginger Rop at My Sister's Scrapper. It's her January 22nd, 2015 Graphic 45 Twas the Night Before Christmas mini album uh, tutorial. And um, just like the other album, I used the different bits and pieces from a variety of sources, including Michael's Recollections, a Michael's Clearance Pad, 12x12 Holiday Pad, Simon Says Stamp, Scrapbook.com, Hobby Lobby. Uh, this one is a little less oriented toward animals than the other one, and it also its colors are blue, gray, white, and silver. And here's where I used the woodcuts from uh, some woodcuts that I got at Michael's on clearance, as well as some nice fuzzy lace from Michael's. The Warm Winter Wishes is from Simon Says Stamp. Uh, this blue ribbon is also from Michael's. I actually edged with the um, smoky gray, as well as s I used a silver... Um, silver gilders paste and you can see it glinting um, around the edges. I did a lot of, um, on this one I did very soft um, wood grain. Again I used the little bits and pieces that I got from Michaels and Hobby Lobby on clearance. This ribbon is from Michaels and it's the exact same layout as the other um, book. This time I actually used some 3D uh, yeah, dry embossed folders for the snow effect. Some papers that I actually got from a girlfriend. All, that's what this one is too. And then this is a, a um, Bring on the Snow is a clearance from scrapbook.com as well as Simon Says Stamp. This was, um, again, a, a wood piece that I got. I think this might have actually come from Stampin' Up! In, on clearance. I made a little tag here, so I made a little, a little front pocket to go with the bigger pocket behind. Lots of silver, lots of foily looking silvery effects on this particular one um, for my sister-in-law. And here's another tag that I got that I went ahead and added some blue ribbon too, some little patchwork ribbon. That was an ephemera pack I, I got from scrapbook.com on clearance. It's very cute. Um, say the button came from that ephemera pack. And then there's some Michael's ribbon again. Lots of foil. A little button that says Falling Snow Winter's Best. Um, pretty glittery snowflake, some more wood grain, and this is a chipboard set from scrapbook.com. This actually is the word snow, that's the definition of the word snow that I got, I believe, from um, Purple Onion Designs. Um, I can't really remember exactly where I got that from. And then again I edged it in the gray and added some silver gilders paste to the mats as well as the edging of the gray to give it more glinty silveriness. The soft wood grain uh, that I used throughout here. Again we have some different little cutouts that I put together. Um, I think these cutouts came from scrapbook.com. This is all from Simon Says Stamp. I caught this Let It Snow. It's it's a silver, actually a little silver plate, and it had all of these different engraved words. I actually think I paid a quarter at a scrapbooking garage sale for that. I thought that was a good find. Some paper from my girlfriend. Another ribbon, um, fabric-y ribbon from Michaels. This is a clearance ribbon as well. I think I paid a quarter for a for a bundle of it. And this came from scrapbook.com. I made this into a tag for a double tag here on this one. 
a snowball fight cutout, a, a button from the Ephemera pack from scrapbook.com. This is a brick effect, um, tailored expressions, dry embossing folder that I thought came out very nice. Edged it in the gray and then the gilder's paste as well. This is again another Fiskars um, interchangeable um, border. And here's paper from my girlfriend that I really liked. I had to use more of her paper because this, this book was silver, gray, and blue. And so I had to kind of sneak some more paper from her. Here's uh, just some buttons that I had in my button collection with a string. And I hung the word snow with dimensionals. And the last page, it looks like I did another double, a double tag. She can move those tags wherever she wants them, and again, edged in the gray, the dark smoky gray and the gilder's paste, with another tag and a button. And then this one is a little plainer, just simple with a, with a double snowflake. And that snowflake, I do also think, came from Stampin' Up! And that is my album for my sister-in-law. Thanks for watching.